project is about a paper centrifuge and a paper micros microscope to diagnose malaria. We think that, that this project will, will help the prevention of malaria. It is hypothesized that the faster we can diagnose malaria, the faster it can be stopped. With this project, we will have brought attention about malaria and how cheaply it can be diagnosed with just the right equipment and the right people. The purpose of this project is to help third world, world countries to get rid from life-threatening diseases. Since these are very cheap and affordable, more tests will be taken and people will be diagnosed faster and will be given the needed treatment. We did this project because this, these are biodegradable and very cheap and easy to make. As we know, malaria is a very dangerous disease in Africa and other countries. We can fight malaria by the use of a centrifuge and microscope. Industrial microscope and centrifuges are very expensive uh, not only to buy but also very hard to manage. There are no conditions in these countries. Malaria is very easy, easily transmitted through mosquitoes. It is hard to diagnose without the right equipment and the person with malaria needs to be vaccinated as fast as possible. Normal centrifuge may take very long to divide the parts of a big sample of blood, whereas this paper centrifuge can very well divide up to eight small samples at a time in a matter of minutes. The idea of, of the centrifuge is as in the figure shown. The, hel the handles hold the spring and the, they pass in a spiral motion through the disc. The sample is taped to the disc and the pulling motion makes a rot rotation force just like a centrifuge. Paper microscope is formed like an origami. There are several sets of cardboards and by folding and placing you can easily make the microscope. You just need a small light and a lens that does not cost anything. You can see in the figure how it looks. This, this is made by the company that mass produces them, but we can also make them by, by ourselves. This is how it looks when we see through this microscope. We can see that it, it is very clear even though it is made up of paper. Malaria is a very dangerous disease and it is very easily transmitted through mosquitoes and can be very deadly. The most affected place by malaria is Africa. And, and we know that a lot of Africa is not so good financially and, can, and cannot buy very heavy duty equipment. As we can see in the graph above, malaria is spread in Central Africa, where they do not have the conditions to prevent or diagnose this disease. So, in conclusion, with this project, we learned a lot about the effects of malaria on third world countries. We learned about the foldable centrifuge microscope. With a lot of will and determination, a lot of people can change the lives of the unfortunate.